This video is how to use BASE with Coinbase Wallet. I'll show you how to get ETH from your exchange into your wallet and then how to send, receive, swap and use some dApps. And I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description below. Firstly, we want to get set up with a Coinbase wallet. If you don't have one yet, I'll very quickly go through that. Go and download the app from the App Store, it's Coinbase wallet. And then you just need to set up a wallet. So click right here, which is create new wallet. From there, you're going to get given a seed phrase. I would recommend backing it up manually, which is literally writing it down on a piece of paper. It's 12 words. If you lose your phone or you delete the app, you can reload your same wallet on any other device with this code. So very important to keep somewhere safe. You can also back it up on iCloud if you want. That will put the code into your iCloud or your other cloud account and you can back that up with a password. So if you want to recover the wallet on a different device, you can do that. So you have the wallet uh, at all times and everything in the wallet, you can recover it using this phrase. So really important. After that, you can set up Face ID just to log in with the wallet, but that isn't really necessary. You can do that if you want. That's just uh, preventing anyone from actually looking at the app itself, um, you know, if they have your phone. So that is the wallet set up literally like that. And that should take you through to this page uh, where we can actually get some assets into our wallet. If you have a Coinbase account, you can very easily send assets from your Coinbase into your Coinbase wallet and you can connect both of these apps. So you need both of these apps on your phone, the Coinbase app and the Coinbase wallet app, and then you can link them up. Now, if you don't have a Coinbase account, it doesn't matter. You can buy ETH on any exchange and all of the top exchanges let you withdraw ETH directly over the base network, which is what we want. So if you have Binance, Bybit, OKX, Coinbase, you can buy ETH and send over the base network from all of those exchanges. So you don't need a Coinbase account to use Coinbase wallet or get ETH over the base network. In any case, I'll show you how to connect a Coinbase account. Go down to settings and then down here, there should be an option Coinbase account. You can see that right here. It's connected for me. So if you click this, it just says, do you want to connect your accounts? So you need to be logged in on both of the apps, right? Your Coinbase account app, you need to be logged in and it will actually um, connect the two. Now from here, you can see add crypto with Coinbase on ramp. So if you do use a Coinbase account, we can click this. And what you can actually do is send Ethereum, go and buy it on the Coinbase app. You can send that directly from your Coinbase account into your Coinbase wallet. So if we let this load up, you can buy new assets. It's gonna take you over to the Coinbase exchange. Or if you've already got ETH, uh, which we want on the base network, we need ETH because we need to pay for gas on the base network. Um, if it's not free, sometimes it's covered by Coinbase and the Coinbase wallet. If not, you do have to pay ETH for gas. So we need some of that in our wallet. In any case, you can see the assets that I have in my account right here. If you've gone and bought some ETH, just click that and then you can go through and it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna send this into your Coinbase wallet? And it's gonna do it automatically for you. You can see you can choose an amount. So we'll just choose an amount to send off any asset. And it says, yep, you're gonna pay these fees to withdraw it, please confirm. And that's gonna send it directly into your Coinbase wallet. So you don't have to worry about your address or anything like that. So that's linking your Coinbase account and sending ETH right into your wallet. I'm using Bitcoin here as an example, but any asset that's supported like ETH, USDC, you can send that into your wallet directly. However, you always need ETH on the base network to pay for gas, to pay for transactions. If you wanna send assets, you wanna trade or swap or anything like that, you do need a bit of ETH in your wallet to pay for that gas. If you don't have a Coinbase exchange account, as I said, all the big exchanges allow you to buy ETH and send it into your wallet. So what I'm gonna do is go over to Bybit, I'm gonna buy some ETH and send it over the base network directly. We're using base, which is a different network. So we're gonna send it directly over that. So find ETH in your exchange. So I've got that here, press ETH. I'm gonna withdraw from my exchange. And then it's gonna ask me, what wallet do you wanna send it to? So I'm gonna go over to my Coinbase wallet right here, and I'm gonna press receive like this. Now to get on the base network, what we do is we copy our Ethereum address. So Ethereum and Base are both Ethereum networks and they have the exact same address in your wallet. So you don't have to look for the Base network, just see your Ethereum address right here. You can see the Base logo just right here in terms of the other scaling layers. So what I'm gonna do is press this to copy the address. So my Ethereum address has been copied. Now I'm gonna go back into my Bybit account and it says, where do you wanna withdraw your ETH to? So I'm gonna paste that in and this is my Ethereum address. Allow paste. Now what I need to do is choose the base network. So where it says network, 
you want to choose base main net, right? Because that's the network that we want this ETH on. So click that one and then put the amount that you want to withdraw in there. So that's sending to your Coinbase wallet, Ethereum address, but we're using the base mainnet, the base network. So that's gonna send the ETH directly on base. We don't need to bridge it or anything else. And you press withdraw, that will get sent over into your wallet address on the base mainnet. As long as your exchange supports sending ETH over the base mainnet, you can use that exchange to withdraw directly over base. So on Binance here, another example, I'm gonna withdraw ETH via crypto network. I'm gonna put in my address. And then the network I'm choosing is base and you can choose an amount to withdraw. So that also sends ETH over the base network. I don't have to do any bridging or anything like that. And it's super cheap to do this. I'll also leave some links below to the exchanges. I use Binance, Bybit, OKX. They all support buying ETH and sending it over the base network. Some really good uh, deposit and trading bonuses on those. So I'll leave the links down below. You can see if it's available for you or not on those exchanges. But we'll have a look at bridging as well. This is if you have ETH, on the ETH mainnet and you need to get it over to base. Now, one of the options here is to take the Ethereum that you have in your wallet, if you do have it on the Ethereum mainnet, send it back into your exchange, wait for it to settle, and then withdraw that same ETH out on the base network. That could be a cheaper option. However, bridging is another option. You can see in my wallet here, I've actually got some Ethereum and this is on the mainnet. The reason I know that is because the Ethereum logo to the left-hand side is just the Ethereum logo. It doesn't have anything to the bottom right telling me which chain it's on. And that means it's on the Ethereum mainnet. If it's on a scaling layer like base, there should be a little base icon in the bottom right. So from here, what I can do is actually bridge this from the Ethereum mainnet and actually send it over to the base network. So I can go to bridge, which is the icon in the middle. And then from here it says, where do you want to send it from and where do you want to receive it to? So on the Coinbase wallet, it automatically chooses Ethereum network and then it's gonna send over to the base network. You can see I've got an amount available here. So if you have any amount available, you can bridge it over, but the Ethereum mainnet is quite expensive for gas fees. So just be aware of how much that may cost. So I can preview this and this is going to be a transaction in your wallet, which means you have to pay for gas with ETH. You can see I haven't got a, a, a sufficient funds. So that's gonna cost me $3.70 to actually bridge it from ETH over to base and that has to be paid in ETH. So if you do have ETH in your wallet anyway, I'm sure you can do a bridge and you know about gas fees. But if you don't have any ETH on the mainnet, you don't have to use it. You can just withdraw directly over base from the exchanges that I showed you. The ETH that I sent myself has now arrived in my wallet. You can see ETH on the base network with the base logo down at the bottom right of that icon. So that's different than the mainnet ETH that I have. They're different networks and so you have different balances but the logo down at the bottom shows you which network that the asset is on. From here, we may wanna swap some ETH into a different asset on the base network. So we can very simply use the swap feature. If you're just swapping between ETH and USDC and smaller amounts, then swap's gonna be great. If you're trading bigger amounts, you may wanna use a more professional app, which I'll show you in a second. But from here, what we wanna do is press the swap icon and then choose the assets that we wanna trade and the network that we wanna trade on. Up at the top is the network, so it says on base. That's absolutely fine. So if you click that, you can choose any networks that you have assets on to actually go ahead and swap assets on those networks. But base, and it gives me a balance here. So it says, well, you've got some ETH on base, as it shows me. So that's the asset that we're gonna swap from. And we're gonna swap it into another asset. So we're gonna choose that asset, and I'll just swap it into USDC. Then we can choose the amount. So I'm just gonna choose $5. You can also switch this around into an amount of ETH if you want. Um, but we'll just do $5 here. So we're gonna swap $5 worth of ETH, whatever that is right now, into uh, you know $5 worth of USDC, both on the base network, you can see the logo here. So find the best price. This is a simple swap, good for smaller amounts, and it's gonna give us the details here. So from ETH into USDC, we're paying, what, five cents um, as a trading fee and a gas fee. So the slippage tolerance, so I'd put down a little bit, maybe to 1%. Uh, this is a very large pair, so you don't need a lot of slippage. Slippage is a difference between the price quote that you get given and the actual trade. So a 1% difference is fine, uh, but 3% is not really. You know, you might get a worse trade by 3%, which is way too much for a large liquid pair like this. I'm going to press swap right here. That's going to go through, and that should swap the ETH into USDC. Now, once that swap actually goes through, that's done. So what's going to happen is that the USDC balance should show up in my assets now. 
So I've swapped some of that Ethereum into USDC. Now you can see that USDC is free to send, which is great, which means if you want to send USDC from your wallet to another wallet on the base network, then that's completely for free for right now. Uh, Coinbase, I think, just uh, pay for the gas fee there. Now, if you'd want to swap the USDC back into Ethereum or ETH into USDC within this wallet, you can see it does actually cost uh, some gas fee and an exchange fee as well. Now we'll look at sending some assets on base. If you're sending to another wallet, like a Coinbase wallet or a Trust wallet, and you know that they are using base and they have a wallet address, it's really easy. If you're sending into an exchange, you have to make sure that the exchange supports the base network and the asset that you're sending. Because large exchanges will support ETH on the base network, but they may not support USDC or some other smaller coins on the base network. If the exchange that you're using doesn't support that asset on the base network, you can't send it into them. So you would have to, at that stage, maybe sell it for a bigger coin like Ethereum itself and then send it into an exchange. But if you're sending to another wallet, super easy. You can just get their wallet address and send the asset. So from here, we can choose the asset that we want to send or just go up to the top and press send here. But I'll choose USDC. From here, it says what you want to do. So we'll press send. And how much do we want to send of this asset? So I'm going to choose an amount and USDC. If I click this, these are the assets you want to send, but these are on different networks, right? So you just have to be really sure about whoever's receiving it. Can they accept the asset that you're sending and on the network that you want to send it on? So I'm going to send this amount of USDC, press next, and it says, where do you want to send it? So I've got my address in here that I want to send it to. And down at the bottom, this is the wallet address um, that I just pasted in. So I'm going to press that because that's where I want to send it. From here, what we can do is just check the details. This has to be an address that supports those assets on the base network. And as long as you're comfortable with that, you can make the transfer. So we're sending USDC over to a wallet address that I pasted in. And you can see the network fee is one cent. However, Coinbase Wallet is paying this for now. It may not in the future. And so if they don't, you are going to have to pay for this transaction with a small amount of ETH. That's why you always need ETH in your wallet. If Coinbase Wallet are paying for it, Maybe you can send it for free and no issues. But if you want to confirm that and send that, just press confirm and the wallet will send that asset on the base network and that goes over to the recipient address that you put in here. If you want to use many more of the dApps that are now on the base network like Uniswap or Aerodrome to be a bit more professional with trading, then you can get to those through the browser or you can just link to those dApps through Wallet Connect. So if we go to browser, which is in the middle, from here it's actually giving you a list of the top dApps uh, again, base is actually being pushed here or base dApps are being pushed. So Moonwell and Aerodrome are kind of like the Aave and Curve Finance of the base network. So if you want to lend assets out or if you want to trade those assets more professionally, we can use these dApps. So from here, if I go to Aerodrome, we'll just uh, click that. This is using the dApp browser. So we're going to log into Aerodrome.finance and we can link up our wallet. So in the top right hand corner, my wallet is actually auto connected here and you should see that up at the top, there's the base logo. So we're actually connected to Aerodrome and we're connected with the base network. So it's going to read our balances there. Now, if we want to actually go in, we can go to swap here and then you can swap one asset for another. This is more professional and you're probably going to get uh, tighter spreads and lower trading fees than using the easy swap feature in the app, which we just did. So I won't go through using these dApps here. I've got tutorials for Aerodrome and many others. I'll leave them linked below um, if you want to know how to use those. Now, also, if you do want to log into any uh, any dApp and you don't want to use your phone, just go up and use Wallet Connect here. So the QR code scanner up at the top, you can just uh, use this. Go to any dApp and click Connect Wallet and then use uh, the Wallet Connect feature. It's going to give you a QR code. You can connect this wallet to any dApp very easily um, and you can just sign the transactions from your phone on any other device. I'll leave those more professional guides linked down in the description below and the exchange bonuses I'll link down there as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.